We're just outside Arcot in northern Tamil Nadu and we've stopped at what is supposed to be an interesting eatery for some Tamil vegetarian fare. So stick around till the end of the episode to find out more. These are not your regular size idli, these are those chinna idlis, the small, the seria idli. This is a happy snack to be munching on with some hot coffee. Hi folks, we're in North Tamil Nadu. We're somewhere between Arcot and Vellore. And we've heard of this vegetarian restaurant. A restaurant called Alankar Veg Restaurant, which we are told is very popular for its vegetarian offerings. I'm told they do a great vegetarian meal, but it's 5 in the evening, so I don't think we're going to be tasting any of that. However, they're also popular for their tiffin items, their snack items. I don't know much about this restaurant, but I've heard a few good things about the food that they do there. We're going to take a look and see what this very popular restaurant in this part of the country has to offer. Well, by the looks of it, this doesn't really look like your typical highway stop. In fact, I love the ambience here. It certainly is a restaurant, an eatery with character. So we will try the millet adai. And then we will also try the um, kuli paniyaram. And then we will try the special combo. Yeah, we'll do that. Thank you. They're very popular for their Tamil food. There's also a variety of other cuisines on the menu. They have some Kerala specialities like the puttu. They also have some North Indian gravies, some Chinese as well. But we are here to taste the Tamil snacks. When you sit on the first floor of this restaurant, you also get a glimpse of the very famous Ratnagiri temple, home of Lord Muruga here. So when people come here, you also get a view of that temple. It's so we've arrived around 6 o'clock, that too on a weekday. There aren't too many people around here. At this point, but we're told that this is quite popular for its vegetarian fare. Kuli Paniyaram Kuli Idli And the Podi Idli Nice, thank you So we have the Kuli Paniyaram right here and the Podi Idli Oh this is nice and hot You know it's rainy weather here in uh, Tamil Nadu When we came in it was bright but as you can see it's already dark now And when it's raining Something hot is always welcome. This is steaming away. You can see the curry leaves, the karuve pulle, which is always there in Tamil Nadu cuisine. I'm going to taste this kuli paniyaram just by itself first. Mm. In weather like this, very comforting to have. I can also taste the spice of that green chilli. That green chilli has been chopped very finely and integrated into that kuli paniyaram. So you don't really see it, but you definitely taste it on the palate. I'm going to taste one more bite of this Kuli Paniyaram with that curry leaf, with some, I think there's some coriander there and a teeny weeny sliver of the green chilli. Just the perfect snack for the weather that we are in now. Mm. That is cooked perfect. The Paniyaram is roasted to the perfect crispy crunch on the outside and it's soft inside, pillowy soft. I'm going to taste it with that chutney. This is the Onion tomato chutney. Mmm. There's a delightful sweetness in that tomato. I can also taste the aggression of the chilies in that. There's probably some red chilli powder that's gone into this. The chutney has a sweetness of the tomato with its tartness as well, and then that spice of that chilli. 
That makes it such a flavorful bite. I'm going to taste the kuli paneer. I'm also with some of that coconut chutney now. Curry leaf chutney with the coconut chutney first. Mm. That coconut chutney is nice and fresh. Also, love the onions that have gone into this. It gives it that slightly sweet edge. I'm going to taste this now with the curry leaf chutney. I love the kuli paneerams. Tiny dumplings of nourishment, and just perfect in the weather that we are here in Tamil Nadu. It's gloomy, it's dark, it's raining a bit out there. Just a the sort of snack that you need when you're driving on the highway at a time like this. Next, we're going to try the puri idli, and these are not your regular size idli. These are those chinna idli, the small, the seria idli. And these idlis are tossed in that podi. I'm going to taste one of these just by itself. Mmm. I love the crunch of the lentils and that tame mellow heat of the red chilli that's there in this. I'm going to taste that podi idli now with that karve pilde, which is the curry leaf. And this is going to be a tasty, scrumptious bite. Even before tasting it, I can tell you that. Mmm. You bite into the softness of the idli. You taste the crunch of the lentils, the mellow heat of the red chilli spice, and the toasty herbaceousness of the curry leaf in this. This is a tasty snack. I think it's time to taste this now with some of that chutney. So I got my podi idli. That is cradling that coconut chutney. This is a comforting bite. Another combination of the podi idli now with some of that tomato onion chutney. This tomato onion chutney is spicy, but it also has a mild sweetness that comes from the tomato and also some acidity too, which I think will make for an interesting contrast to the lentil goodness of this podi idli. Mm. The tomato chutney takes it in a whole new direction. It is the sweetness of the tomato, and that sweetness is somehow a little stronger now because you're tasting it against the backdrop of the mellow, spicy notes of the lentil in that podi, and that makes for an interesting contrast and intensifies the sweetness of the tomato in that tomato onion chutney. Millet adai. Oh, it's made with millets. Yeah, millets. So this is a speciality in yeah, this region. Speciality. So you have the goodness of the millets, and then you have the indulgence of that butter. That butter, which is dripping onto this millet and lentil adai. You can see that butter has been smeared generously on this. I love the translucence of this adai. You can see that it's speckled with curry leaves. There's also some chilies in there somewhere. I'm looking forward to tasting this. I'm going to bite with that curry leaf. This is tasty, but certainly not a light snack. I think you have two of these. It's a complete meal with the wholesomeness of the millets. And also the lentils that have gone into it. I'm going to taste some of this adai with the chutney now. Mm. There's also some onion that I just got in this. This is such a flavorful, wholesome preparation. You also have some vegetable avial here that goes into this. Of course, the avial that we know is mostly from Kerala. The vegetables with the coconuts. You can definitely taste the coconut oil in this avial. It speaks for its provenance, the fact that it comes from Kerala. I'm going to taste some of the adai now with the vegetables. Mm. I love the earthy texture of that adai, of the lentils, of the millet. 
and the freshness of the vegetables laced with the coconut oil flavor. It makes for such a happy combination. I'm going to get some more of the chutney though. Mm. Of course, you have the chutney and you have the avial. But this adda is tasty enough to be eaten just by itself. There is also some jaggery that's served with the adai. So you can either taste the adai with the coconut chutney, with the vegetable avial, with the avial. I think all avials are vegetarian avials. If you've heard of a non-vegetarian avial, do let me know in the comments below. But I haven't. And then you have the jaggery. If you have a mild sweet tooth, you will like the jaggery. I haven't tasted this combination before and I'm speaking like I eat adai every day and I don't but I haven't tasted adai with the jaggery. I'm going to taste that now. Mm. That transforms the adai from a savoury, sustaining snack to borderline dessert. So you taste the texture of the lentils, the savouriness of some chilli that's also gone into it and then the sweet lilt of the jaggery it certainly makes for a flavorful bite mm. combo snacks the combo snacks and then we have a combo platter here so this again came highly recommended they said you must try this because you've got different flavors on one platter so this is a kolokatai which is typically made with rice but this is made with the maplai chemba rice and this has also got jaggery in it so this is a sweet version and then you have the savory the kara kolokatai and of course you can see the chili right here so you know it's going to be spicy and then you have the bonda the bhaji this i'm told is raw banana and a kerala chai kada snack and then a soft Wheat halwa. But we are going to begin with the bonda. I love the crunch of this bonda. Ah, it's hot. It's speckled with chilies. I think there's some pepper in it as well. And of course, the ubiquitous curry leaf. Go we'll taste it first just by itself. It's hot, but it has a perfect crunch. I think it would be wise to dunk this bonda into that chutney as well. Mm. And then the raw banana bhaji. It was a batter and I think the batter is a spiced batter encasing a slice of raw banana in there. And it's hot. You can see all that steam emanate from this fritter. Mm. You will like your banana fiber encased in a bhaji. This bhaji will certainly do it for you. I'm going to try the savory kolukutai first. So traditionally kolukutais are stuffed with coconut, sugar or perhaps jaggery. But this is not a stuffed kolukutai. This is a kolukutai in which the rice dumpling is steamed with all sorts of savory ingredients. So you've got some chilies here, you've got some curry leaves. I don't know what to expect, but here goes. So that kolukotai tastes almost like an upma that's been made into a dumpling and steamed. You can definitely taste the coconut and the spicy edge of that green chili in that. we we'll taste this with the tomato onion chutney. I think if you like your upma, you'll like that. I'm going to move on to the Mapla Chemba Rice Kolukatai and this I'm told is a sweet version. This also has some jaggery in it. I think there's also some coconut in there along with the jaggery. Mm. This I certainly like. I think I can also taste some cardamom in there. And the jaggery isn't overpowering at all. It's mellow in its sweetness and it cradles the flavour of that Chemba rice and of the coconut just right. This is a happy snack to be munching on with some hot coffee. Mm. And 
Next, we're going to go for the sugam. The sugam is not too hot. It's cold actually. And it's got this dense filling here of the green gram and of the jaggery. Jaggery in this certainly makes its presence felt along with the green gram. And the last item on my combo platter is this wheat halwa. Ah, this wheat halwa is nice and soft. Mm, it's sweet. Stickiness <laughs> clings on to your palate, refusing to let go. But then the halwa is light enough that after a few moments it magically disappears. Combo coffee, which comes with the combo platter. I love the froth of this coffee. Coffee is nice and hot. And strong. Just the way I like it. And it's got just the right amount of sugar. I don't like my coffee cloyingly sweet. I like only the slightest touch of sugar in my coffee. What I want to taste is the robust, near bitter flavor of the South Indian filter coffee. The best coffee this part of the world. Ah. I saved a bit of the the chamba rice kolakatai to savor with the coffee because I think the the nuttiness of the chamba rice and the jaggery and the coconut I think will go very well when chased with the filter coffee. That's heaven in a bite. So if you're driving around this part of the country, between Bengaluru and Chennai, near Arcot, Vellore, Pondicherry, in this general direction, make sure you stop at Alankar Veg Restaurant to taste the delicious vegetarian fare. I've tasted the snacks here. I've made a note to return back for the vegetarian meals, which I'm told are also very popular. This is definitely an experience that I've savoured and I'm sure you'll savour it too when you visit Alankar Veg Restaurant. Until the next episode of Gourmet on the Road, stay safe and happy eating. At Food Lovers TV, my team and I work hard to produce engaging food and travel videos. If you like our work, do check out our Patreon page where you can pledge a nominal sum in lieu of special privileges like behind the scenes footage, early video release, exclusive Q&As, merch and much more. For more info, check out the link in the description below. Also, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe, share, like and leave a comment here. Happy eating!